Hey, what's up, gang? Glenn here coming to you. I want to thank you for joining me today on another video here at my home. Uh, today's topic of discussion, water carry systems. But before we get into today's video, I'm curious what kind of water systems you guys are using while you're on trail. Do you carry a bladder? I'm always interested in hearing different things that backpackers use, how they use them, what works for them, what doesn't work for them. So please share, comment below, let me know. And without keeping you waiting too long, let's get into today's video. Now I know at some point we were all beginner backpackers and we all tend to carry this Nalgene container for water. I quickly learned as I started getting into ultralight backpacking that almost nobody carries the Nalgene water container. This reason being is the container alone is 6.2 ounces, which is a little too heavy for a water container. After discovering that, I quickly, you know, researched and did a little bit more reading on uh, lighter water carry systems. And I came across this Evernew water container system. Uh, this two liter bag is uh, it's very light, comes in at 1.5 ounces. Um, it's very lightweight and uh, bonus, the threads here fit a Sawyer filter, which is plus side. This was the lighter of the water carry systems that I could find and then you know, a short time after researching this, I discovered that a lot of backpackers carry these smart water bottles. And the reason being is that these bottles alone, just the bottles, are 1.2 ounces, which makes this the lightest water carry system out there for backpackers. As I get into backpacking and experience a lot more, um, you know, with my last through hike attempt on the river to river trail things from my last attempt that i could work on that i could improve um, even though i decided to do that hike in a record drought and rely solely upon water caches that you know other people were kind enough to leave for me i learned that i did not drink as much water on that adventure as i probably should have and I think a lot of that was because I was conserving my water and I was stopping frequently to take my water. All right, I stopped going up. So I thought I would take this opportunity, cup some water down real quick. Taking a water break. Let me get some water and keep going. So to combat that, this year, for my second attempt on the River to River Trail, I discovered a way that I could keep my smart water bottle system and drink water without ever having to stop on trail. And I'm gonna share it with you today. So ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you, I don't wanna butcher the name, but the company is called Lixada. And the wrong way and they make this hose kit specifically for these smart water bottles so I've already got the uh, hose trimmed down to the size that I want it to fit on my sleeve here um, but this would allow me to still use these smart water bottle containers with a fixed hose so that I can drink while I'm on trail so I don't have to constantly stop as I was in the past to drink water on trail, which means I can consume more water while I hike so I don't get dehydrated, so I have energy to hike. And I thought this was a really cool nifty find. I wanted to share it with everybody on the YouTube. So I'll include a link in the description below uh, for where I found it on Amazon. I believe it's about 20 bucks and uh, it comes in two size attachments here so this one fits the smart water it also comes with this red cap which I'm not exactly sure what this fixes on but that's also cool um, the valve 
is a bite valve. So you have to bite to get any water out, which is cool. I like that. It also has an, another feature where you have to twist. You have to actually twist the valve open to open it. So you get two ways to keep the water from leaking. You get a bite valve, and then you also have to tr twist the head nozzle to get water to flow, which is, you know, I think that's really cool. Plus it comes with this magnet attachment to attach to your pack. So the Lixada Smart Water Hose Kit. I've had a chance to try it out. The flow is very nice. Just, it seems so much more efficient than what I had before. Thought I would share that with everybody today. Get yourself a smart water bottle hose kit. It's definitely worth it. And um, I think the kit, don't quote me on it, but I think the kit weighs about two ounces. So, you know, it is what it is. I just like the ease and access that this thing brings to me. Stay tuned, I will have another video soon showing different modifications I'm doing to make myself a little bit more ultralight without making permanent alterations to any of my gear. Don't wanna do that. Um, it's fun though, it's, it's, it's a fun experience doing this and uh, I'm really glad that I have a resource like YouTube to share it on. And you know, I'm also glad I have YouTube as a resource to learn from. So thank you YouTube and hopefully I can do the same and pay it forward and deliver this information to somebody that might need it. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Short video, just wanted to go over the host kit. Um, I really hope everybody is doing well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.